In today's video, I'm going to be talking about a pesticide that was popular in the 1800s and 1900s called Paris Green, or AKA Emerald Green. And some of this information is going to terrify you. Hello and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know what's going on here, I am a horror artist and I basically draw what I talk about in each video. I just have a vision that comes to mind as soon as I read a particular story or case or whatever it is, whether it's a conspiracy, true crime or a scary fact, I will get a vision of what to draw. Sometimes it relates to the story exactly uh, and portrays the story how I want to portray it or sometimes it just gives me inspiration to draw something that is very similar to the story, if that makes sense. But if this is your type of jam, like and subscribe, hit those bell notifications, whatever it is that keeps you uh, linked to what I'm doing in my upload schedule. Also, I like to put a warning on the fronts of my videos saying that nothing in these videos are meant to be insensitive to any of the victims or the victims' families. I'm just bringing you stories and information that I have found and I've done my research and I have compiled a heap of data. With that being said, Let's move on with the video. Let's delve into what Paris Green is and how it is used. Paris Green or Emerald Green was a highly toxic unorganic pesticide that was available in the 18 and 1900s, which contained copper acetate and arsenic trioxide and was an emerald green crystalline powder used for rodent control and insect control on crops in 1867. Farmers found that Paris Green was very effective in killing the Colorado potato beetle, which was a major agricultural pest and became the poison of choice to control these beetles. Paris Green was sprayed by planes in Italy during 1944 and 1945 to control malaria, a mosquito-borne disease that can cause vomiting, jaundice, seizures, coma, and even death. Other things such as worms, slugs, moths, and caterpillars were eradicated by Paris Green. Artists such as Monet, Renoir, Van Gogh, and Gauguin would use Paris Green as a pigment for their paintings and was ground very fine to use in watercolours, inks and also fireworks. It was first developed in 1814 by Wilhelm Dye and White Lead Company, Schweinfurt, Bavaria and quickly became the pesticide of choice all around the world. But Paris Green has a dark disturbing history to it. Not only were accidental poisonings common, but also murder and suicides were common via this product. When Paris Green was used to dye clothing, workers would not wear protective gloves or anything and would dunk the fabrics into the toxin with bare hands. Businesses working with Paris Green had fatally ill staff. Staff would develop ulcers, green hands, yellow nails, headaches, poor appetite, and crater-like lesions on limbs or other body parts. Investigations were done due to the amount of people falling ill, and they realized that businesses were accidentally poisoning people with the prolonged exposure to this toxin. Paris Green was even fashionable to have in homes as wallpaper, but families were getting mysteriously ill and children were always the first to fall ill or die. Doctors in the 1800s were diagnosing the deaths as diphtheria as the symptoms of Paris green poisoning were similar. Once autopsies were done, an arsenic poisoning was found. Investigations started on the homes and found that the wallpaper was creating like a Dutch oven in the rooms of the homes, so the children and parents were ingesting it by breathing it in. 
Once the word got out that Paris Green was killing people, it created a fear amongst the public and people were tearing down the wallpaper in their homes. But despite all the panic and deaths, no legislation was created to regulate this product. And Paris Green pesticide could just be bought at your local drugstore or pharmacy. Dying from Paris Green poisoning was often a very slow and painful death. Symptoms include dizziness, headaches, abdominal pain, vomiting, diarrhea, inflammation throughout the body, neck pain, severe nausea, anemia, lower head pain that was very intense to the point where it felt like your head was going to explode, and speech problems. Ingested in small doses over an extended period of time can cause paranoia, delusions, hallucinations, and an appearance of mental illness and insanity in people. In 1898, a woman tried to kill herself and her whole family in a murder-suicide attempt in Erieville, New York. The Purdy's resided in a house in Erieville, which has now been labelled as haunted according to the Dead Files TV series. Apparently this woman was suffering from mental illness and walked into the drugstore and purchased Paris Green. This made the drugstore workers alarmed and if it wasn't for them, more damage would have been done. She apparently poisoned herself first with a low dose that she took every day for roughly 7 to 10 days and then started on the three kids and her husband. She force fed the three children by shoving it physically down their throats. She ended up killing herself but I can't find anything on the husband and what happened to him but apparently the four month old died nine months later from injuries to the poisoning. Her two older children suffered for years with ailments relating to the poison but they didn't live a very long life unfortunately. People suffering from depression would turn to Paris Green to off themselves. Farmers were one of the highest statistics but was not highly reported. Once it got into the cities, suicides were reported more and more from the early 1800s through to the 1960s until it was finally banned. This product killed a lot of people in the Victorian era and left a trail of devastation. This really reminds me of the Radithor product that I did a video on and I will have a link at the end of this video if you are interested in watching that. Radithor was a quack radium medicine within what well, was in distilled water and people were taking it and dying a completely atrocious way like it is terrifying how people were dying of um, Radithor from Radithor so yeah by all means if you are, are not a sensitive or queasy person or get easily scared uh, yeah definitely by all means watch the Radithor video that I did. No one trusted Paris Green for decades after Paris Green left such a bad taste no pun intended in society. People back then just didn't know the severity of arsenic. On the 20th of November 1861, an artificial flower worker named Matilda Schreuer was only 19 years old when she died of severe convulsions from severe arsenic poisoning. Her autopsy report said that she had green eyes, green fingernails and her bile was green. She had arsenic in her lungs, stomach and liver. People speculate that Napoleon might have died from arsenic poisoning from the green wallpaper. After Napoleon was defeated at the Battle of Waterloo, he was exiled to the island called St. Helena in 1821 to a house called Longwood House to live out his days. Napoleon had a wallpaper that was a fleur-de-lis design that was light green with darker green patterns on it and it covered every wall in the home apparently and it was Napoleon's favourite colour. It was alleged 
that the climate played a big part in creating a humid environment that activated the arsenic, which started to make him weaker. When a piece of Napoleon's hair was analysed, it showed traces of arsenic. Napoleon died of stomach ulcers and cancer at the age of 51. A British chemist named James Marsh created a way of detecting arsenic and it was so sensitive that it could detect arsenic in a small amount of residue on food such as fruit and in the stomach if it was ingested. He then started using the test in trials in court. The scary thing about arsenic is it's popular for people to use to poison other people in foods and drinks as it is not detectable by taste. It was a silent killer. It was so fashionable to be killed or die by arsenic back in the 1800s and a lot of people were killing family members for their inheritance so arsenic adopted the name inheritance powder. So what do you think about this pesticide Paris Green? Do you know anyone who used to use it or have you heard of any other stories in regards to this particular pesticide? Leave some comments below in the comment section. I would love to hear some more facts and some more stories on this, on this poison. Now the illustration that I did for this video today is this sort of came to me um, when I was reading through um, everything to do with Paris Green and I was sort of reviewing what I, the, well, the notes that I had done and I came up with this particular um, like woman and she is so, like she, she's drinking Paris Green and there is a little monster down below who was also joining her and, um, you know, drinking, well, it's actually drinking the Paris Green whereas the monster woman that I'm representing as the people who ingested this stuff and had all these horrific symptoms, um, she's actually getting it um, via intravene she is loving it she just wants to have this shit flowing through her veins and she she's turning green from it and her teeth are green everything is green her eyes are green basically taking some of the the symptoms from the stories that i have read on this particular pesticide and sort of just pushing everything into an illustration to represent how toxic and shit this particular product is and thank god that it is banned today this illustration is very green very green and it's another illustration that i didn't include blood in because i don't think it needed it um because everything all the elements in it are quite horrifying themselves so uh, yeah, and, and I just made a little bit of pink areas, um, you know, just to display like the, the big wound in her in her stomach is like gaping open. It's like this big black abyss um, of like a big ulcer or something like that. And having bandages like wrapped around her in a certain way just to, um, you know, portray the, you know, wrapping up ulcers and, and all that sort of stuff. And yeah that's basically it that was my this was my vision for the story on paris green so anyway uh hopefully you enjoyed some of this uh video enjoyed the information that i have given you and enjoyed the illustration that went along with it and i am out of here and i will see you guys in the next one bye